Good morning, longevity masters. Let's start this amazing routine for your body, for your well-being. We will do lymphatic drainage. That's what we start off. Lymphatic jumps, also called baby jumps. Let your lymph run through your body. Enhance your lymphatic drainage early in the morning. The best time for this exercise is early in the morning. So you wake up your body, your soft tissues, you let them know that your body is alive. Don't let it glue. Don't let it stick together. Keep it useful for the whole day. I'm 47 and my goal is to slow down aging. I'm here to motivate you to do this. This is lymphatic drainage of the face. Just do the strokes. That will help you to reduce edema on your face, make it slimmer, will make your skin tighter, looking younger. Just five strokes like this, and then we will start stretching, we'll do neck complex exercises, and then rotations of all the joints. Okay, so now stretch up, inhale, Stretch all the way up with inhale, bend in the C7 area. Next one. Stretch up all the way, inhale, hold your breath, bend backwards in C7. Exhale, when the hands go to the upright position, <sighs> exhale, inhale, okay, stretching the sides, inhale, hold your breath, go to the side, one, two, three, four, come back to the upright position, exhale, <sighs> again, inhale, stretch up, hold your breath, Stretch the other side, come back to the vertical position, exhale, again, okay, inhale, stretch up, bend over with a straight back, go as low as you can, as much as your back of the hips can allow, then release your hands, Press over the hip joints and push out with your hands. Feel the relaxation in the lower back. Feel that the space between the vertebras are getting a little bit wider, giving some space and freedom. Okay, and now go with your hands down by your femurs to the knees down to the ankles if you can go low just stay there breathe evenly enjoy the stretching if you can go down just keep going by your legs all the way down to the floor keep your back straight so step with your Palms further and further away from your feet. And now relax your back, make it roundish and a deep bend over. After that, press into the floor, leg goes backward. Equestrian pose, four and inhale, exhale rounds. Feel the stretching in the legs. Next one is going to be plank or press ups, up to you, how you feel. If you feel like you got some energy, do the press ups as many as you can. If not, just stay in plank, keep your back straight, everything straight. Okay, that's plank and I will do some press ups.
Western pose, the other leg. The knee can be in between your shoulders or outside. Outside just makes it deeper. Four and have exhale rounds. Look straight. Calm down your breathing if you did press ups. And get your body to a straight position. We start the neck complex, the most probably the most important for your longevity. Okay, hold your arms. And now with the chin, press your double chin, even if you don't have it, to the chest. This exercise is called stretching of the front of the neck. But first what we do is contraction of those muscles of platysma. Release your arms, get your chin all the way up. Stretch platysma. And now stroke. Platysma muscle with light stroking. Tone it up a little bit. Let the lymph run. Next exercise is basic stretching of the neck. Okay, turn your head to the one side. Stretch it for two and have exhale rounds. Slowly turn it to the other side. Two and have exhale rounds. Everything that you do with your neck, do very, very slowly. Return it to the ideal position. Tilt your head to the one side. Slowly. But to its maximum. Slowly return it to the upright position. And stretch it to the other side. Two and half exhale rounds. Return to the upright position. Chin all the way further up. Come back and all the way up to the ceiling. Again, stroke platysma. Platysma is a muscle that is covering front of your neck from ear to ear. When it's sluggish, it lets forming of the second chin. Okay, next exercise of the neck complex, stretching of the back of the neck. First we do contraction of of the shoulders, get your shoulders together and up and get your back of the neck on the shoulder. Four and have exhale rounds, do this contraction, let your brain signal that stop, giving signals to contract, let the muscles relax. Okay, your brain understood it on the fourth inhale, grab your back of the, of the head with your fingers on the first exhale, get it to the upright position and then relax your neck, relax your arms, drop your chin down and let stretching of the back of the neck happening for four inhale, exhale rounds. On the fourth exhale, push with your neck against hands and return your head to the upright ideal position model this ideal position for two exhale exhale rounds and again drop your chin down and second stretching of the back of the neck two inhale exhale rounds and again push with your neck against your hands get your head to the ideal position Drop your hands down, stretching the sides of the neck. Get your shoulder all the way up and get your head on the shoulder. It is rather your neck is laying over the shoulder. If shoulder doesn't go up easily, still try to do it little by little. With every money is going to go a little bit up. On the fourth inhale, Grab your ear on the fourth exhale, 
get your head to the ideal position and start stretching the neck to the other side. Feel the stretching from the ear to the shoulder. Four inhale, exhale rounds, first stretching. On the fourth exhale, push your ear over the head and get your head to the ideal upright position. Keep it like this for two inhale, exhale rounds. It would be great if you stay in front of the mirror, you see the ideal position of your head. And then second, stretching. Again, stretch it. Now do it two inhale, exhale rounds. On the second exhale, push your head over the head, over the hand, get it to the ideal upright position, relax your hand. Uh, the other side all the same, shoulder up, get the head on the shoulder, stay like this, four inhale, exhale rounds, enjoy contraction of the side, of the muscles of the side of your neck, push your shoulder a little bit more up, and on a fourth inhale, grab your head, on a fourth exhale, get your head to the upright position and start stretching it to the other side. Four inhale, exhale rounds, first stretching. Enjoy that feeling, how it gets stretched. Uh, that's so pleasant, especially when you do it every day. First times it may be a little bit strange. Now push your head to the upright position with compensation over the hand. Two inhale, exhale rounds. And then again stretch it. Second stretching is two inhale exhale rounds. If you do this complex, neck complex every morning, your neck is going to be beautiful, long and strong. Okay, now push again. Get your head to the upright position, relax your arm. Now the most difficult is stretching of trapezius. Get your palm on the kidney, then get your shoulder up, backwards, get your chin, turn your head to the other side and get the back of your head over the hump you created with your shoulder and push the shoulder up, make contraction of the trapezius muscles, pull and have exhale round, on a fourth inhale grab your nape, on the fourth exhale, get your head to the ideal upright position and start stretching. Chin all the way to the front, then to the armpit and a little bit to the side. Four inhale, exhale rounds. Enjoy the stretching from the somewhere behind your ear to the shoulder blade. Okay, on the fourth exhale, return your head to the same ideal position with the same trajectory. Push the head to the upright position. And again, second stretching. Chin forward to the armpit, slightly to the side. Two inhale, exhales. And return your head to the, with the same trajectory back. To the chin to the front, neck pushing the hand, stay in ideal position, two inhale, exhale rounds, relax the hand, do all the same on the other side, hand on the kidney, shoulder up, shoulder backwards, take your chin, turn it to the other side, get the nape on the hump you created with the shoulder, get your shoulder up again once more. Four inhale, exhale rounds, enjoy this contraction. Push with your shoulder to the back of your head. On the fourth inhale, grab your back of the, of the head. On the fourth exhale, get your head to the upright position. Start stretching with folding your chin and then getting it to the arm, armpit and then slightly outwards to the side. Four oh, inhale, exhale rounds, we do the stretching. You will feel the difference 
today from the other mornings. Tomorrow you forget about these exercises and you just start your normal routine and you feel the difference. And the day after tomorrow you come back. Return your head with the same trajectory, chin forward and then nape pushing with compensation to the upright ideal position, keeping it like this for two and a half exhale rounds. Drop your head and we are finishing next complex with head rotations. Drop your chin down and start rotating your head slowly. Important here is slower rotations, but with maximum amplitude. Five, seven times to one side, five, seven repetitions to the other side. Do it very slowly. When you do it fast, you are risking to get a lumbago. Rotation to the other side. You are risking to crush some of your fluid builds up over there, which are not fluid anymore. And they become like sharp decays that can hurt your soft tissues. Okay, now rotations in shoulders. Do these rotations 20 reps backwards. This is opening your chest, making your posture better and making your shoulder joints much healthier. So your arms are going to be working all your life until the very last heroic day. Okay, rotations in elbows, 10 inside, outside, 10 reps outside. We are going to rotate all the joints, now going to the fists, 10 rotations one side to the other side, 10 rotations to the other side. Okay, stretching the fingers with all facets. Okay, the finger splits. What we are doing, okay, rotations and pull outs of the fingers. Every morning with this morning routine, the other hand stretching with all possible ways with this routine we are fighting with adhesion process the process that makes our body old which glues it together make it dry and less mobile we are doing these exercises not to let it happen in okay rotations of torso again the same as with the neck Rotate slowly, let, let it be with the maximum possible amplitude that your body lets you. Don't try to be a super champion here. Just do as your body lets you to do. Rotations to the other side. If you don't get techniques of these easy exercises, go to the channel see section with shorts and there it has all the explanations to each one if something is still unclear please leave command rotation of pelvis five seven to one side five seven to the other side Don't let some crap growing over your hip joints. We're going to crush it. Avoid all the operations to replace it. In the future, we're not gonna let it happen. In. We are going to take care of the body. So this body is going to live long, long and very actively. Rotation in hip joint. 
five, seven rotations to the other side, to one side. Keep your balance. If keeping the balance is hard, well, you can hold the wall, chair, table, your friend, girlfriend, whoever, who's next to you. My mom, for example, she cannot. So I'm holding her by the shoulder. We're doing it together. She's 72. And my challenge is to get her living as long as possible and be in a very functional state. To avoid dementia, another crap that's happening with Alzheimer's disease. Okay, rotations in, in foot to the one side. To the other, stretch your fingers. The best time for these exercises are in the morning. You can do it any time of the day, whenever you see this video, to start off learn these exercises. But if you want to live long and make your body young, and again, then do these exercises early in the morning, just when you wake up. So rotate your hip to the other side. Rotations in the knee. Five, seven to one side. To the other side. Rotation in foot. To the other side. Okay, stretching the finger, stretching the toes. Okay, we're coming to the end. Diagonal bendovers. Most important is this diagonal move to stretch the spiral myofascial line. If it's hard to bend over, don't go very deep. Little by little, you can go, go deeper and deeper and deeper with every time <sighs> exhale when your body goes down inhale when it goes up In ex exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And now side kicks. What is important is doing it sideways. Not as, it's not important how high your leg goes. But if you can go that high, this is fantastic. Just do it this way. 15 reps. Exhale when the leg goes up. And final exercise is called standing. Find a wall, clean wall. Attach your heels. Ankles, buttocks, shoulder blades, nape to the wall, to the one line. Modulate your upright straight position. That will help you to restore ideal posture. And when your posture is restored, your neck is longer, stronger. It means all the arteries, veins, nerves they are going not like this not curvy way but straight line it means all the signals all the supplies are going straight directly to the point where they have to be without any stopping any traffic jam no delays everything comes the right time and plus what we did in the very beginning of this set we started off 
lymphatic drainage which is now already happening it's happening few hours earlier than in your normal day it means the lymph is taking crap from the your interstitial space and getting your cells cleaner okay that's enough for today thanks for watching thanks for being with me and let's do it every morning and keep your body young and make it live long have a good day. See you tomorrow.